QB King 77 here from the Android Creator Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to flash um, Calculin's E4 GT ROM on your Epic, 4, Epic Touch 4G. So I'm going to go ahead and run through how to. I'll also be doing a review video that'll be separate. It'll come after this video. I'll link it in the description of the video so you can bounce back and forth so you can see what this ROM's all about as well as know how to install it. So you're going to need to plug in your phone into your PC and mount your storage and then you're also going to need to click on the link in the description of the video. It takes you to this thread. Big, big thanks to Calculin for this ROM. I've heard very good things about him so I'm very excited to flash this ROM and see how well it runs. Uh, but anyways, as you can see, E4 GT series. Um, go ahead and scroll down, and right here where it says E4 GT ROM, click on it. It's going to be the download link to it. And you're also going to need to click on Calculin's format all for E4 GT.zip. So you're going to need to download two zips, this one and this one. So make sure you download both of those. They're going to be two zip files. One's going to look like this, one's going to look like that. And put both of them onto your removable disk, whether it's your internal or external storage. So just click and drag both of those zips onto your storage device. And once you're done there, you're going to need to un mount them so just hit eject right click and hit eject and you're good to go you can go ahead and unplug your epic touch 4g so once you have that on your storage i have mine on my internal storage i'm going to go ahead and power off my phone i'm actually going to reboot into recovery i'm on the starburst rom in case you were wondering so i'm just going to hit recovery so it's going to reboot me into recovery for those that need to know how if you power off your phone and you press and hold the power button and volume up button at the same time press and hold both of those you can go ahead and get into clockwork so press and keep pressing and holding power up and uh sorry not power up, volume up and power button at the same time that's going to go ahead and allow you to get into clockwork mod and then as you can see it's going to go ahead and reboot into clockwork mod you can also go back to that thread if you want to know some tweaks this rom is going to have I'll go through some of them in my review video as well, so be sure to stay tuned for that video. But anyways, as you can see, now I'm in Clockwork Mod. Um, what you're going to need to do is all you're going to have to do is go to Install Zip from SD Card, select it, and then go to Choose Zip from Internal or just Normal SD Card, whichever one it's on. Select that, and then navigate to wherever you put that uh, Wipe All Zip File. So go to Calculins Format All for E4GT that zip select it and then hit yes install that what that's going to do is erase your entire phone so it's going to erase all your data so you're not going to have any apps contacts messages etc so be sure to back up any of your data you can also make an android backup before flashing this rom in case anything goes wrong i already have an android backup so in case you need to make one you can uh, so just a heads up there but now once that formats your cache your data and your system all you're going to have to do is hit choose it from internal sd card or normal sd card whichever one again and just navigate to wherever that rom is that Calculin's uh, E4 GT ROM version 1.0. Select it and hit yes, install. So what that's going to do is go ahead and install your install the ROM and you're going to be good to go. That's all you're going to need to do is just flash that format all, flash that wipe all zip first instead of going into each one separately and wiping each of them. All you have to do is flash this that zip file which is very nice. So just a heads up there. As you can see as it's booting up, nice Nexus S style boot animation it's a little different but it's very cool so very nice boot animation there but otherwise i'm going to go ahead and do a separate review video so be sure to subscribe and and wait for that video to come out it'll be in the description of the video but anyways thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it